Hi, I'm Mrs. Moomy and I'm a speech therapist. One of the things that I do is help boys and girls like you learn how to make difficult sounds. And the sound that I want to talk about today is the rolled R sound. The sound is heard in languages like Spanish, Greek, Afrikaans, and maybe you're learning one of these languages or maybe it's a language that you already speak at home but you're just having a hard time with that particular sound. Either way, I'll be teaching you some tips and strategies on how to make those sounds and how to be successful. Because I speak Spanish, I'm going to be using Spanish words to talk about these sounds, but you can use the strategies regardless of the language that you are either already speaking or are trying to learn to speak. So let's start with these words. We have flor, flower, and you see the R there at the end. Cara, face, and you see the R in the middle. Brazo, arm, and there you see the R paired with another consonant. We call those consonant blends, where you're blending two sounds together. And sometimes those blends are in the middle of a word, like tigre. In all of those words, we are making what we call a tap R sound. And what you do is you use the tip of your tongue and you tap it just behind your teeth on the little bump that you find there behind your teeth. So find your bump behind your teeth there with your tongue. And when you get there, just tap it. Da, 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 da. And I'm, of course, adding my voice so that you can hear it. If you speak American English well and you are able to say words like beauty, lady, butter, ladder, you're hearing that sound da, 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 in those words. And you, if you can already say those words, you know how to make this tap R sound. You just have to learn now how to think about it in words like flor and cara because you're seeing an R instead of a D or a T. So in American English, you would make those sounds for a D, T, or double D and double T. And for Spanish, you'd be seeing it for that single R, either at the end of the word in the middle of the word or in a blend. So let's try that together. Ra, ra, ra. Flor, cara, brazo, tigre. With the uh, tapping, sometimes if you are still having a hard time getting there, you could just try doing a D, but speed it up. So you start with a D. Da, 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 speed it up and you usually can get to that tapping or same thing with a T speed it up and you should be able to get there okay with the other Spanish R sound what we call a trill R it's really similar except there's vibration involved. And so let's look at these words. Rojo, red, and you see the R at the beginning. Another R at the beginning here. Relo, clock. Now you see the double R in the middle. Perro, dog, and carro, car. For these words, you're kind of starting with the tap, ra, 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 where you're adding airflow that's going kind of over your tongue or through your tongue and causing vibration of the tongue tip. And it sounds like this. Ra, ra, ra. The easiest way to practice vibration is to first start with your lips. And we are going to call it a lip trill. C 
fingers might do that as they're doing lip exercises or sometimes band players that are learning how to play the trombone. They might have to learn how to do these uh, lip trills. Or it could even just be someone that is learning how to swim and learning how to make bubbles under the water. The same thing happens, that air over the lips causes vibration. So let's try that together. So you hear that vibration and what's causing it is the airflow, that push of air through your mouth. So with the trill R, you're doing the same thing but with your tongue tip. So you're allowing that air to cause your tongue tip to vibrate. So start with a tap and add the air. With the double R, the reason that this trill is important is because, at least in Spanish, it can change the meaning of the word. So for example, if you say perro, you're talking about a dog. But if you say pero with a tap, ra, ra, pero, that means the conjunction but. Like, I want ice cream, but I can't have any right now. With a word like carro, if it's the trilled R, it means car. If it's a tap R, caro, it means expensive. And so it's important that you're able to make both the tap and the trill R so that you can um, differentiate or make sure that the meaning, what you're trying to say, is what comes across. Because it can change the meaning if you say it differently, in Spanish anyway. If you speak a language other than Spanish, then I would encourage you to find words that have this sound, either the tap or the trill R, at the beginning of the word or in the middle of the word, at the end of the word, and just try practicing and see whether you can get it in those words. And you might even get a partner that can help you listen for the sounds and make sure that you're getting them um, correctly. If you have any questions or something is not clear, you can feel free with your parents' permission to email me through my website. You can go to www.thespeechstop.com and I would be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you so much.